What is outsider music? Outsider music is music that exists outside the mainstream, uh, done by people who are often self-taught. Talk about the Taurus, talk about the bully bull bull. Talk about the Taurus, talk about the bully bull bull. The two characteristics that I look for in outsider music are uh, authenticity, sincerity, genuineness. They have to mean it. We found out it. <laughs> can't be something done to be arch, uh, to be mischievous. They're doing it because they're sincere about it. It's an honest artistic expression. The second thing I look for is lack of self-awareness. They really don't know how different their music is, how exotic it is, and how truly outside they are compared to the mainstream. How did you become interested in the genre of outsider music? By being a bit of an outsider myself, uh, I've never really been a, a uh, fully credentialed participant in mainstream society. Uh, I don't watch much TV and miss all the blockbuster movies and don't read the popular magazines, and I obviously have no interest in popular fashion and hairstyles. And I've always been drawn towards art and creativity on the margins. That's why I decided to write an entire book about the music that I've just become so fond of over the last 30 years. Erwin, tell me about B.J. Snowden. B.J. Snowden is a music teacher who lives up in Billerica, Massachusetts. Her uh, piano playing is a little bit dodgy, her songwriting is kind of whack, her syllabification is inexact, um, her enunciation is occasionally garbled, and she sings songs about Canada, or as she pronounces it, Canada. But she's wonderful to see because she has great charm, great spirit. There's a certain innocence about her, which is actually characteristic of a lot of outsiders. There's something almost childlike about B.J., the way she sings and performs, and this great sense of wonder about the world. Well, welcome to the couch potato section of the program here. Uh, I do a, a series at a club in New York called Incorrect Music Videos, where we uh, play video um, examples of outsider music, such as Reverend Alicia here. She's an evangelist based somewhere in New York, I presume, and she uh, sits there on camera on a chair that she picked up at Office Depot over which she has draped some gold fabric, and she kind of sits there and sings songs about Yahweh, although it's on recording so she doesn't uh, lip sync. You know, I'm waiting for her to, there she goes, and she rotates. She kind of swims. She, uh, it's what I call interpretive flailing. She's doing what she's doing because she loves the Lord and she wants to share her religious fervor with her viewers. And she also wants to share, obviously, her special effects generator as well. From the heart of the heartland, out in Iowa, we have Mark and Lois Kennis from their local public access show called Big People News. Uh, Lois is into the blues. She actually can only play one blues riff, in fact. And here's her husband, uh, Mark. He's doing a song called Lazy and Crazy here, but it really gets crazy when he takes off his glasses. And then things get a little frightening. Mark was actually arrested for growing marijuana on his property and is currently out on probation. Kids, just be aware, drugs could do this to you.